Hi gang, in this lesson, I want to cover what's the main difference between a bad debt and bad debts recovered. Now, first of all, let's take John here. John here is our debtor, which means if he's our debtor, he buys from us on credit. And this is our company. The company is called us. Now, if John buys from us on credit, that means he doesn't pay immediately, then he is our debtor. Now, if John is unable to pay his debt and we recognize that John, our debtor, cannot pay his debt, then John becomes a bad debtor and therefore we will need to write off his account. So then, John's account will become what we call bad debt. Bad debt means John will not pay his account. So if John bought goods by us, our company worth 500 Namibian dollars, and we were to write off John as a bad debt, then that means that we would lose this 500 Namibian dollars. We would recognize that John is no longer going to pay this 500 Namibian dollars. So therefore, bad debt will be an expense. So, in John's T account, John had a balance of 500 Namibian dollars because he owed us that 500 Namibian dollars because he purchased goods on credit from us 500 Namibian dollars worth now when we write off his account the credit side will come 500 dollars due to the bad debt expense our bad debt expense will be debited with 500 Namibian dollars as bad, bad debts is an expense and all our expenses are debited. So you can see our double entry principle is complete here. Now, we have just written off John's account. Oh, let me add the first transaction. Before this, we had sales of 500 from John so first we had sales of 500 from John and then John's account was written off but now after a few years John decides to come pay back his debt that he owed us now since John's account is closed 500 and 500 they cancel each other out since John's account is closed and he wants to pay his outstanding debt of 500 Namibian dollars, we call that bad debts recovered. Bad debt recovered. Bad debt recovered is an income. So when John pays back the 500 dollars he previously owned, we will not open a new account for John and then allocate that payment to his new account. All we then do is open a separate account and recognize the income on the credit side as bad debts recovered is an income and our income increases on the credit side. If John Cum pays us with cash, we credit our bad debts recovered account and then we debit our cash account to complete our double entry. So to wrap up, when a debtor buys on credit from us, that means he owes us money or he owes the company money. If he can't pay, then the company writes off his debt and that will be a bad debt expense for the company. And thus his account will be closed and he will no longer have an account with the company. But after a couple of years, if he's back on his feet, he decides to pay back his outstanding debt. 
Now since his account is closed, a new account will not be opened. Bad debts recovered, which is an income, will be realized and the money that he pays will be put in the bad debts recovered account. And if it's paid in cash, the cash is debited. If it's paid via check or electronic transfer, then bank will be debited. And bad debts recovered will be credited since it's an income and all our income increases on the credit side. I hope this lesson has made the difference between bad debts and bad debts recovered clear. The one is an expense while the other one is an income. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.